Hi, I'm Kyle Seidel. I'm the lead vocalist and bassist of The Good and Gracious. I'm going to show you my rig and just some guitars that I have in my collection. How exciting. So this right here is a Sterling by Music Man Subray 5. Uh, it's single humbucker, volume 2 tone. I just like it. <laughs> ah, yes. I like it. Yeah, good for the five string stuff. So if Travis needs to tune down, I don't have to. Yeah, it works for me. Yeah. Uh, I use D'Addario, uh, shit, what's the, NYXL? Mm-hmm. The, the super nice ones? Yeah. Uh, I've probably had the strings on here for about eight months already. Oh. And they're pristine. Glenn Fricker would be ashamed of you. <laughs> Sorry, I don't deep fry my strings. Facts. <laughs> Fucking loser. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's go with the big boy. This yeah, is there a we go. 1994 Gibson SG standard. I bought this thing used on Reverb.com. Oh yes, the best place. Uh, I got it fairly cheap too because the headstock has snapped off in its previous life. Oh, okay. Uh, but it's not a big deal because it still kicks ass. Exactly. It doesn't really do much. But yeah, it's just a fucking Gibson SG. You bet. How much else you can say about that? Let's go with Travis's old guitar, but now it's my guitar. Cause fuck Fact. it. 99% sure that guitar was stolen at some point in its life. Yeah. Because the serial it's, number is like completely scratched yeah, off of it. It's sketch as hell. So it's it's the Squire series, right? Yeah, it's basically, it's um, it's f called a Fender Squire series. So it's all American made parts with Squire's name on them and assembled in Mexico. So it's basically a love child of everything Fender has ever done right and wrong, I guess. And it was like late 90s, no. Yeah, late 90s. So, I don't know, it, I liked it. I just needed something else, so. Kyle has it now. I, I have my telecopy, which I kind of miss. <laughs> <laughs> Sad boy hours. Sad. Maybe we'll trade back sometime, I don't know. This is a Ibanez Art Core, I believe is what it's called. Uh, I just wanted a semi-hollow, and this was an affordable one. That was not shit. Facts. So. Don't buy an Epiphone, kids. <laughs> let's, get the, let's get the piece of shit over with. I bought this. It's an Ibanez RG. I bought it for $51 at a pawn shop in Green Bay. Uh, I had to do a whole bunch of shit to it. I bought all new tuners. You can kind of see they don't really match, so I have just holes. Ah, how uh, oh fun. Uh, rusty ass bridge. <laughs> hey. I had to take uh, stickers off. It belonged to a, a hardcore punk kid who had like skater. It was a American flag with a skater instead of the stars. Oh, how fucking dope punk is that? Fun, dude. It had the toxic like logo on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was fun. There was, it, I had it switched with strat knobs. Uh, I, it had the dome knobs. I don't really like those. Um, it also, <laughs> it also had a, a Lyman Kugels bottle cap on the tone. Oh, what, what beer was it? It was Lyman Kugels. I know, but like, like what, like what line of beer? Was it like a summer shandy or I, something? I think so. It was something like that. And the action is about half a mile high. Yeah. It's not fun. You won't be able to see that, but it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. That's why we call it the piece of shit. That's almost done with electrics, but it's not. Because over here, because it's too fucking big. Facts. It's Dean ML. Because fuck it. <laughs> I just wanted something extreme. This was like when I first had like money. And I just wanted something metal as fuck. It's dope. I was, I was a metal boy. That is like the back and use most it. cumbersome guitar to play ever because it's so fucking gigantic. Yeah. But dime is I had cool. To buy a Rest whole... in pepperoni. <laughs> I had to buy a whole new case. You can see down there, the one on the very bottom is the, the one for the Dean. The one on the very top is the SG. Now you'll see music stands and other yes. miscellaneous aspects. We're professional. That's it for the electric guitars. Now let's go to the Acousterinos. Ooh. Yes. This is a Fender Malibu. It's not the new one. This was like from like 2012, I think. <laughs> It does, uh, it's nice acoustic things. Yeah, uh, electric acoustic, actually. Oh, neat. California series. Malibu CE, all laminate. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, 
Not much to say about it. I use Diodarios for everything. Literally everything. Unless Ernie Ball gives us free shit, I'm not doing it. <laughs> this was something I found at uh, it was Pawn America in Green Bay. I, I think it was 20 bucks. It's an Worth Amigo it. uh, nylon string. Uh, very cheaply made, though I still love it a lot. Like the neck isn't even wood, it's plastic. Oh, hell yeah. So I can just scratch that shit off if I want it. Which I kind of did at one point, because like I didn't like that there was only three inlays, so I'd be like three. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's all my guitars. Uh, should we show amps and stuff too? Oh heck yeah! Oh, fuck it. Mm. So this amp right here, this big boy, it's an Orange Crush Pro 120. Okay. 120 watts of solid state fucking metal. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, two channel. I just like it. It's got all three types of reverb. Got your spring, your hall, and your plate. Cause you can. Uh, should we go over pedals? Yeah, sure. Why not? I'll yeah, let me enter my way over. Okay. Don't forget to tell them it's a. What is it? A code four by twelve? Uh oh yeah, it's a. No, it's the MG. I think. Yeah. Marshall MG. Yeah, it's four by twelve. It it's heavy. All That's right, why I so... don't use four by twelves. Anywho. <laughs> Pedals going uh, right to left, because why not? This is a Digitech Whammy, because I really wanted one, because Tom Morello is a god. <laughs> Pretty much also it. facts. Uh, a Rush booster, just what it says, it's a booster, and it says Rush, because I like Rush. Uh, for my distortion, I use a, a Super Badass from MXR. I like MXR pedals. Just it's works like a drink. drink. Pretty much everything at 12 o'clock. Uh, and then everything else I have is TC Electronic, because they were cheap. <laughs> so I got a, a Chaka Tremolo, which I have very fast, very subtle, an Afterglow Chorus, and a Blood Moon Phaser. And most importantly, oh, yeah, a PlayStation 2. Yeah, or, yeah. <laughs> um, oh shit, I forgot a guitar. Oh All boy. Right. So this is the Gibson GH2. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, pretty high quality stuff. Uh, it's got a Seymour Duncan pickup right here. Oh, okay. It's, a, it's weird, it doesn't have a neck or bridge, it's just a middle position. Oh, okay, uh, I understand. Five inlays, no strings. <laughs> but you gotta rip Sponsored by Sweetwater. Yeah, sponsored Don't forget. by Sweetwater and MXR, because you gotta rip the homies. <laughs> <laughs> Your boys. Should we go downstairs and talk about what you got in the garage? No. <laughs> Look at them. They murder things in this house. Yes. When it comes to practicing in the garage, we got ourselves a Marshall Code 50. Because I am too lazy to bring anything. <laughs> uh, when it comes to bass, which is the actual instrument I play, mm -hmm. uh, I use a Fender Rumble 100. Uh, works really well. It's got really nice controls. I like how you can use low and mid settings. Uh, I usually, I keep the bright off, but I usually use contour and vintage. Uh, I sometimes use overdrive, but when I do, it's like ridiculously high. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, You'll yeah. find out about all this jazz later. Yeah. Yeah, look at it. All right, Kyle, is there anything else you need to say to the people? Fuck you. <laughs>